Welcome to episode 34 of the Venture Ventures D&D show, actual play show. Uh, one of these days I'll codify how to say that. Um, but let's just jump into it, because we ended on a bit of a rough note. Yeah, we're swan diving or belly flopping. I don't know how you'd classify a player character death and subsequent reincarnation, but let's just do a quick recap. On their way to the independent city of Anista, also known as the Eyes of Envir, the gang boarded an arcane train to cut down travel time. The train was much more lavish than the previous train they had traveled on and consisted only of five train cars, including the engine. They were restricted to the back three train cars, however, with the second car being under armed guard. On the train, the gang met a color colorful cast of characters and dined with them, eating a multi-course meal of some very weird shit. Uh, partway through dinner, the dragonborn paladin of Inversus, Arbiter Christie, was found murdered in the threshold between cars three and four. With a murderer aboard, the passengers thought it best to sequester themselves for safety, and so Herc Poirot could question everyone. Later, all passengers retired to the sleeping car at the same time, taking turns using the water closet. While Prodi tried to scale this side, the side of the moving train with little success, Crispy, the human monk went to the water closet where he triggered a magically undetectable magic trap comprised of a shrunken orc's head that had been turned into a deeply powerful goo by the erasure. The head muttered a word and Crispy was transported to another place of bright light inhabited by a humanoid figure covered in wounds, gross, that still managed the warmest of welcoming smiles. Meanwhile, on the train, Prodi re-entered the train. Herc Poirot found the dead body of Crispy and a pygmy barn owl named Hierophant Ack of Eldath reincarnated Crispy, who returned to the material plane in a goblin body. Awakening in a goblin body, Crispy made a beeline for the bar where he met Arbiter Christie, who also had been dead and now was also reincarnated. This time he showed up in uh, the oversized armor uh, as a dwarf. And I think that covers it, right? Um, the head was in a toilet. I, I was killed by a toilet. I think that's important to note. Yeah, the, yeah. did they not say that? Oh. Uh, you just said it was in, in the water closet. Oh, okay. But it was in specifically the toilet. Mm -hmm. That is a good. That's a good uh, addition. It's a, it's a horrible detail. <laughs> yeah. So uh, something something you trust so inherently as as a toilet. Yeah. Doing something so heinous, it's terrible. Now you can't trust toilets. Maybe you're gonna have a a thing about. I'm a goblin now. I'll just poop outside. <laughs> uh, Ashwin uh, grabs. Uh, Arbor do we know the dwarf characters know that Arbiter Christie is reincarnated? Is he, and it's you just, he's reincarnated to a dwarf? Yeah, you just saw I don't know. You just saw him walk past following gob crispy goblin goblin crispy. Crispy goblin. Uh <laughs> crispy goblin. Uh yep. so yep. you saw a dwarf in Arbiter Christie's armor, his decorative armor, and Ashwin prods you, Proddy, to go, you know, follow Crispy, you know, a bit, she's a bit worried, so uh, you agree? Okay, I, I, I do, yeah. Excellent. Um, and you're at the bar with Arbiter Christy. Did his armor resize? Um, no, it did not. It's just huge, and both it of you looks... both of so... you are Donald Duck in it. Unless, unless you, Chris Crispy, would have put on pants. I don't think he did, but no, he didn't. He is definitely Donald Ducking it right now in his shirt, um, sitting at the bar with legs dangling from the bar stool because they don't reach the floor anymore, <laughs> and, and an overgrown, oversized nightshirt. Ashwin comes up and says, "Um, Chris Crispy, is that you?" That's yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, you sound different. Uh, Seems like my vocal cords also took a hit. 
Oh my goodness. Along with the rest of my body. Do you remember, <laughs> like, our what our time together and like, do you remember everything? Oh yeah, it's all there. Along with a few new things I picked up, I, I guess. But uh, I don't know. Feels weird. This body doesn't feel right. Yeah, I, I, I would think so. Brody, what do you think? What do I think about his new body? I don't know. I'm just freaking out a little bit, Brody. Like, I don't... This is crazy. Just, are you kidding me? I'm just happy he's alive. I am I, too. I'm also so mad that he was I'm killed. I'm just relieved. Also, watch this. Watch this. And I go to take a drink, and my teeth, which are all, like, jagged and, and really messed up now, like, <laughs> like I can't smoothly drink from the glass. I'm just like, this sucks. <laughs> I just... Uh, we can get you a straw or something. Hey, yeah. Okay. Hey guys, I have a I have a plan. I want to see if you guys are on board with me. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna make an announcement on the train that I know who the killer is. All right, and then and then I'm gonna give them a time of day that I'm gonna go. Uh, where I'm going to go confront the killer in a place. By yourself? Don't you think well, that's just going to paint guys, a target on your back? You guys you guys will know. So you guys can be ready for it. But my plan is not fully fleshed out, so I need you guys to be I don't get it. So I'm going to tell I'm going to I'm going to tell the whole train that I know who did it. Mhm. Mm and then I'm going to hand over the evidence to the so conductor we're we're the track, at a certain time a certain time of day yeah right we're laying the trap there uh, like, so, so we're gonna... i think in the lounge cart is is as good a place as any it could be could be back in our quarters or something yeah it's the middle of the night are we gonna sleep or are we just gonna stay up um i don't know I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a gander at that uh, that uh, cargo door again, see if it's still guarded. Okay, so um, you head back to the uh, where you saw the guards guarding the entrance between three and two, and um, yeah, Herc, and that's like close to where. The water closet is and so there's still a bunch of people out there kind of like talking and as you approach they get quieter and uh yeah herc is there and there's two guards who are sleepy as fuck uh standing there okay. all right I, i'm still with arbiter christy i i, I let Prada walk up the train and I just turned him and said, so what happened to you? Uh, well, <clears throat> um, quite frankly, I was taking my pants off. And as I was going to hang him up, the hanger just blew up with light. And uh, next thing I know, I was in this body. They were taking their pants off. I had to break it to your friend, but you were found between cars three and four. You weren't in your room. Why were you taking your pants off in between the train cars? How was I... How was I... I was... put between three... This is getting ridiculous, to be quite honest with you. I am so sick of these... Right, so someone killed you and then dragged your huge ass old body. Wow, this is hard. Uh, your huge body, body down the train, all the way to trains three, four. Yeah, I don't think it was Hierophant Ack, as cute as it is. It's doesn't... hell. I don't think I could have done that. Definitely not now. No, no, <laughs> definitely not now. Oh, I can't touch the floor. Maybe. Wait, hold on. 
I looked out. That's different. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine's Can got I, a beard. Is Prady, is Prady in this conversation? Uh, no, you went back to the train. This is happening while you went back to the uh, front of okay. the train. So, uh, Ash is still there, kind of sitting behind uh, where where Crispy's sitting, still a bit worried, but also tired and just, like, doesn't know what to do because it's the middle of the night and one of her friends was killed and reincarnated, and so there's still adrenaline and... Uh, yeah. I tell Ash to go get some rest if at least one of us should get some sleep tonight. <laughs> but what if... What if I get killed? Well, everyone's outside of our room still. Uh, so I thought it's pretty well guarded. I'm sure we'll be along shortly. Oh, you can hang out. Why don't you just sleep right there? Just tuck her in on, on the seat. You probably fit, right? Yeah, she she fits on the... <laughs> On the uh, curled up in a ball. Yeah, on the love seat uh, bench. Um, Prady, you want to go back to the lounge car? Uh, I, yeah, because I saw that it was guarded, right? So yeah, yeah and so Herc back in the Herc uh, joins you a few moments later and approaches the bar and says, "Well." This is quite the circumstance. I've never uh, seen anything like this. Why do they have... Someone has a druid on board that happens to have a ton of expensive oils and unguents that can be used twice for reincarnation. Mm. Wow. This is the first time hearing about a druid. Well, Hierophant uh, Ack, the barn owl, hmm. the uh, oh, the small little druid that reincarnated. Uh... Yeah, thank God that he was around for my friend to be dead. I hadn't really considered the cost of bringing us back. Uh, well, that I think seem it's rather odd. I think it's upwards of a thousand gold, if I'm not mistaken. Why would he so readily do that for us? He seemed also annoyed with doing it, but also like, it also seemed like a job, kind of. Do you know if he has any known associates? Like, did he the, board the train with anybody? The druid, um, like, the first time I, I saw him was when you saw him, so, uh, he... He came from the top of the train, and uh, I don't, for lack of a better term, where he's roosting. I don't mean to offend if if it does, but um, yeah, um, something well, weird is going on. And uh, well, I happen to know uh, who's been doing this. You who you you do? Yep. I haven't the faintest. How did you find out? I'm going to tell the whole train at uh, dinner tonight. So like 12 hours from dinner. now? A little over 12 oh, hours? Oh, right. <laughs> it's the middle of the night. Uh, I'm going to tell everyone. That's a good point, sir. I'm going to tell everyone at breakfast tomorrow. Okay. I have evidence that I've kept quiet about it's in a safe location i'm gonna hand it over to the conductor at that time well did you know before your friend here was murdered no no i discovered afterwards well i look forward to finding out uh because i don't know if that bird has any more oils and such for any more reincarnation rituals oh man did you did did you hear that straight from Hierophant? I didn't ask him. I just don't know if he has any more. Hmm. Where's he keeping them anyway? Does he have a room up on top of the train? That's what I was I was uh, speculating a moment ago. Is it like a roost or something? When's the next? Uh, when's the train stop next? Uh, 
I believe Sourfield is the next stop right before we hit Whale Cliff in the morning. Uh, are, will you be continuing on to the end of the line and Revan's run? Uh, that's the plan. Of course, I'm a goblin now. Well, I figure we still stick with the plan. Yeah, we're going to keep on keeping on. This train seems cursed. But I was just curious because, I mean, I, I kind of want to go up and, and talk to the little, that, that little owl. And uh seems difficult to do while the train is moving. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know. You'd have to ask the conductor and how how quickly we'll be arriving in Sourfield. But it's a quick stop, as in, like, five to ten minutes because it's a small town. And uh, I doubt we'll be anyone will be uh, boarding. Uh, I sure hope not. But... Uh, wow. This is... Okay. Well, I'm going to go find the conductor and see if we can ferret out a time for that stop in Sourfield. And... Yeah, be sure to tell the conductor... Yeah. Tell him what? Oh, tell the conductor that I'm going to be handing over some... Very strong evidence. Okay. Tomorrow morning, say eight o'clock. Sounds good. I'll uh, definitely pass that along. Uh, you, you all have a good night and be careful. Why don't you come with me? I don't want. Well, she's almost asleep. Uh, is she asleep? I don't know. Uh, well, she's, she's sleeping. She was pretty tuckered. Yeah, I still think it would be a good idea for everyone to adjourn to their rooms just for safety's sake. Uh, you, you know, at least have like a, bar, a buddy buddy system of some sort. It's not a bad idea. Okay. All right. Can I bring the bartender with me? Uh, if you can figure out how to do that, I don't know. Where's Where's uh, Frank Ronda? Oh, he's still back in the room. Okay. Frank Steve Roger, Ronda, whatever his name is. Frank, Frank Ronda Steve. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. So we will um, cut to the midnight stop. Sounds okay. good. And you, uh, and Prady, you... Prady wants to climb on top of the train. Before it stops or not? No, when it stops. Okay. Yeah. Um, so does Crispy. So Ashwin will be taking a long rest. You two will not be? Sounds right. like... Well, I mean, could I could I have slept a couple hours and count that as a short rest? You can count it as a short rest, but you're not you're gonna get exhaustion next tomorrow. Like, you understand? Oh, okay. As far as we know, the train is not stopping anywhere tomorrow. Uh, you haven't found that out. You kind of know that Whale Cliff is relatively close to Sourfield, so it may stop in the oh. afternoon. Um, yeah. but. Uh, I, yeah, I'm okay with the exhaustion. It's fine. Yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll, I'll do it. Okay. Um, Same. So, like an hour later, the train comes to a stop, and the conductor's just standing out off the train, and you guys approach, and he nods to you and doesn't look bothered or anything like that. Uh, what do you guys do? Um, I want to go to the back of the train, climb up that ladder. And uh, do I see, looking up the train, do I see uh, the roost or anything? Yeah, you see, hack would be? yeah, you see vents and such along the top of the train, but uh, you see some weird-looking shape that doesn't look like the, all the other vents. And um, on, on what car? On Roddy the third climbs car. up behind Crispy. Third car. Yeah. And um, right. as you approach... Uh, you One see... more question yeah. before we approach. Um, so we pulled up to a train or to a station. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining the platform on one side. The other side has, you know, probably another set of tracks going for the other direction. And, and or is there nothing on the other side? There's, what is, there's, what is... there's another track uh, and there's not much of a platform because this is a small town. Um, okay. Primarily like just a farming village. And there's very few centralized buildings, as you would see in an even, like, semi-large town. Uh, but it's very quiet, and you see a few people 
humanoid figures out in their fields doing farming work. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is what I want to do. I'm going to look to Prati and tell him in his head, all right, you're going to talk to Hafrin Ack. I'm going to hop down and see if I can get in the, the cargo car real quick, see if I can go up under it. You're still... And I just turn off. You said you, just, you wanted me to talk to Hierophant? Hierophant. Yeah. Hierophant. Or, yeah. Or, yeah, go up to Hierophant. And I'm going to jump off the other side of the train, the non conduct the side the conductor's not on. Sure. Uh, Stealthily, if I can. <laughs> and you're still Donald ducking it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I have not found goblin sized pants yet. Yeah, yeah, the whole time, Prati's just talking to him like this. My shirt, my shirt's long enough. <laughs> yeah, to cover. he's got like a, a night, uh, a nightgown. I look, I look like a goblin in a nightgown. Yeah, yeah. It's more of closer, like down to my knees. Yeah, with but I'm not wearing shoes. With a whip, yeah. <laughs> with, with with my whip still, a little thing cinched around my waist. Oh man, that's that, a belt. It's a funny, a funny mental picture. Uh, I tried wearing my hat for the first couple hours, but it's like too big for my head, so I, I had to give it up. So, uh, Crispy, go ahead and make a acrobatics check to get down and a stealth check as well. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, use the universe juice to give me guidance. Mm -hmm. So acrobatics is awesome. Universe juice? You know, You now know, or you think you know, where it's coming from yeah i i don't trust gods uh not not yet at least he was creepy um that was a 25 okay. for acrobatics um and then for stealth so much worse um but still not terrible Let's see that's 14 okay noted so you s and, and i'm gonna try to sl slink up to the second car go under the train and see if i can find a hatch going up okay um, we will cut back to you in a second. You are sneaking up, dun 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 dun, dun 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 dun, and Prati, you approach the roost of Hierophant Ack, the pygmy barn owl, and he is. Uh, he looks sleepy. I give it like a little tap. I give it a little tap. Yeah, you can see him because it's um, just looks like makeshift. Um, it's like hey. Uh... And hey, Hierophant. his hey. back is turned to you, but since he's an owl, he just turns his head all the way around. Hey, Hierophant. Hey. hey. How's it going? Um, hey, just one bird to another. Um, do you have any more of that reincarnation oil? Uh, they have a ton of it in the second car. I don't know why they hired me. This is like, I do this every year. What? You do this every year? This is like... Do you, know who's, do you know who's killing people? They are. Who's they? Whoever was high... Whoever drew their name or whatever out of the... Out of a hat and... Um, it's like... This is like a... a uh, do you, this is a game to them? Yeah. It's, do you know the Zekin Collective who controls all the diamonds in the world? It's like a cartel... Uh, yeah, I've, yeah, you've I've heard, heard of them. them but... Yeah, you've heard of them. Uh, these are all like the cartel leaders. They do this bonding thing every year, and they hire out this train and pay me, and all this money that I get goes, you know, to helping uh, the Church of Eldath continue, but. Yeah, yeah, keep talking, keep talking. And while he's talking, I'm just, like, straightening out his, like, little nest pieces. Excellent. Uh, no. You will not incur any penalties now. Um, <laughs> and uh, he goes, yeah, it's like a f weird, terrible game that they don't want to use diamonds because that's their supply and they want to control this. They don't want to use diamonds for this game they play where they... It's like a murder mystery tour, and one of them plays the murderer, and they have to figure it. They all pick characters. Some of them play characters they've played for years. Some of them pick new characters. And, and they know that there's people playing who are not aware of this. Oh, yeah, they pick they... people up just to do this. Like, So it's all, everyone's in on it. 
Except us. Except you and maybe a couple others. I'm not I don't I haven't seen that uh guy with the mustache who's got the weird southern voice before. So he may not be on it in on it, but uh So can you turn my friend Crispy back into a uh human? It's not my oils and I he'd have to die again and each time that happens it gets harder and harder to come back so uh i don't know it's not a hundred percent it's definitely possible that it could work but it's also possible he would just be dead so where are they keeping the the diamond dust that they use for these these poisonous pills that are killing people they don't use diamond dust for poisonous pills. They use their goo and baubles from that they are rich enough to buy these powerful okay artifacts. Uh, Do you know when the next when the next uh, murder is going to happen? No, I just I I hate being down there. So I uh, many years ago I started hanging out up here, and I like it better up here, and I can fly and. Uh, you know, um, I just don't like it down there. I just, I just go down there once. Um, it's a great time to work no. on that gate, uh, guys. Um, sorry for the banging, everyone. Um, Do you know why they take, uh, why they chose Crispy? Is it just random? I don't. You'd have to ask the person who got chosen to be the murderer. Uh, and you don't know who that is? No. I, I want okay. to know as little as possible, but all I okay. know is they want me because they have a, as much money as gods, and they don't want to use diamonds, which are a lot more rare than things you can replenish, oils and unguents, so that's why they use me are to reincarnate. Any... Do they keep any diamonds on this train i don't know i'm sure okay. i'm their zekin collective i'm sure they have i would guess that they have um you know alternative um plan b so to speak but it's just okay they have so much money they can you know they have all these baubles and goo that they can spend buy from the uh aspel arcana and uh the murderer has to cast non-detection on them because every single person here even though they're not supposed to is supposedly carrying things that can warn them of danger because i'm yeah. sure none of these these folks down there have ever lifted a shovel or done any hard labor in their life that's a, that's a strong bet. All right, I'll let you get back to sleep. I will. Uh, what's your deal? Up. I saw what's with that rod. That rod looks interesting. This, this, yeah. This is uh, this is three sevenths of the rod of law. Rod of law. Yeah. I'm collecting all the pieces slowly but surely. For who? Well, for me mostly, but I'm a warlock, and my my patron instructed me to do it. The what are the chances? I've never even seen any of a magic. That, that's such a rare magic. I can't believe you have three magical items that rare. Yeah, it's uh, it's no big deal. It kind of yeah. is a big deal. You know you're going to be a target for other people who would be interested to know you have that, right? You should probably hide that. Yeah, I should probably be a, little, be a little more... I should be a little bit more um, discreet about it. I only know that because of my training, but... Um, the Your druid training? Common folk won't know that, but... Most common folk won't know that, but any magic user worth a damn will know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So thanks for the tip. All right. Well, uh, be careful down there, and hopefully, I won't be having to reincarnate you. I hope not. I kind of like being a kinku. Yeah, I'm sorry about your curse and everything. Not that. Not that it's my fault, but. Yeah, you're, it's not your fault. Being a bird that can't fly is just a. You want some of my gin? Uh, can't remember the last time I tried some of the, some gin or any alcohol. Sure, I'll take some. And he takes a sip and immediately spits it out. And there's just oh, there's a reason I don't drink this stuff. This stuff is harsh. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to my herbs. Okay. Well, thanks for thanks for all the words of wisdom, Hierophant. You got it. Uh, and you head off. We'll switch back to Crispy. Crispy, you're underneath the car, and it you see the feet of the conductor. And um, uh, you were told that the train is it's a very short stop. So right now <laughs> you're looking under, and you do see a hatch. Uh, that is locked currently. I'm going to look around real quick to see if there's any traps. Okay. First and foremost. Make an investigation check. Not 20 for a 24. Yeah, you think it's trapped uh, with some sort of um, some sort of confusion type of is there anything mechanical that I can determine would set off the trap? Is and could I disarm it? Uh, you just see, you just see the rune, and uh, you don't, you can't see past it, but you see a magical rune, and um, something tells you that it's. You definitely know it's a trap, but it's confusion based, uh, confounding based, to whoever mm -hmm. sets it off. Uh, and there's like a, an actual big fat lock on the hatch. So as well. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to, oh, fucking I'm here. Um, I'm going to try to, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I can see the rune correct the runes mm -hmm. yeah. for the trap yeah i'm gonna try to uh scratch them out okay uh make if that with your like dagger or what do you have yeah i have a small knife okay um when you scratch on it you f you're making some good carvings in it but you see that the faint not glow but um magical the essence still feels intact. uh you see it's not like an amateur rune it's definitely embedded deep in the metal going up okay. through the train all right um i'm gonna just try to unlock the lock then okay. uh make a sleight of hand uh you know roguish whatever the fucking i can't i'm blanking on the word I have all the proficiencies, but I still rolled poorly. Uh, that makes me a, a 14. Yeah, that won't do it. Uh, you're freaked out by the timetable you're on with the conductor. Ah, these hands! And oh, your goblin hands. Nails. Your your fingers are as long as they were before, but the hands, the palms themselves are a little smaller. So it looks like your hands have really long fingers. It's just awkward, and you're looking at your hands as you're messing with the lock, and you're reminded that you're a goblin now. You're just an anxious mess. Okay, okay, okay. Give me, give me one second. Just give me one second. Make sure there's nothing else I have randomly that would have, that would help here. Sure. Mm, no. Nope. 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 Okay. What do you want to do? I'll just say, oh, fuck. And I'll drop back down and then uh, scurry to the back of the train and come back in through the dining car. Sure. Make another uh, stealth check. 
I've been guidancing all of these. Yep. It's cumbersome to say it every time, but if I if I can, I am. Uh, 16, 22. Yeah, you're good. Um, 23. 23. You, you head back in and into the dining car, and nobody's in there. And, um, yeah, you are... Good. Still Donald ducking it, and Prady, I assume you went back into the car, or what'd you do? Yeah. Yep. Soon oh, after, out in there. Soon after um, doing that, the train leaves for Whale Cliff, and uh, yeah, what would you like to You're just hanging out? Yeah, I mean, I, I wait in the back for Prady, see if he comes in, too. Yeah, he's... he's um, He's uh, he's fine too because this fucking let's, uh, conductor okay. rolled. Let's pick up Ashman and, and get back in. The, oh no, she went to sleep. Yeah. Let's hop back in the room. Yep. And uh, hey, so I, I, talked to, back I talked to Hierophant, and he's saying that this is all some elaborate, like wealthy person's game. Well, that they pick someone every year to be the murderer, and. Then that person uses their baubles and whatever to kill people. And then Hierophant just knows he's going to have to reincarnate someone every night of this, you know, this goes on while the other people try to figure out who the murderer is. So, you know what I say we should do? I say we should steal that whole, that whole car full of oil and just figure out a way to to get all that oil onto a carriage or something and then just steal it all. Fuck all these people. Point of, point of order, uh, Prody. Um, <laughs> the third piece of your rod, if I'm not mistaken, I was just looking at it a few days ago. Oh, it says I can't break a law. You can't break laws knowingly. It, it's, you, you can't. You will refuse. Mm, Let me double check, it. though. Well, he's double checking. I'm already saying. <laughs> well, funny you should mention that because I actually hop underneath to see if I can get in that car, and it's locked and enchanted. There were some runes, something about a confunding. <laughs> Can't believe you're sticking with this voice. <laughs> it's my goblin voice. You've heard it before, Jake. <laughs> I know, but not all goblins, right? That's true. Not all goblins, but this is this is who I am now. As I'm. I'm a goblin. Okay. Um, so the third piece we're, says the bear refuses to goblin. knowingly break any law, no matter how absurd the law or how minor the infraction, uh, unless the character can find a legalistic loophole that allows him to avoid prosecution and punishment. Right. Who did you say this is? Uh, who's running this? Wealthy people or just some rich people? Yeah, we're the only... The people that boarded the train basically are the only people who don't know um the the people who are already on the train are most likely just part of a big game and they're all in the know i mean they they don't all know who the murderer is but someone no. randomly picks a murderer and then it's like a Makes it's like sense. a murdery I mean, mystery people, dinner the people that? on this train are wildly wealthy i mean there's a doctor with a diamond encrusted stethoscope that's obnoxious and then the conductor has a diamond encrusted watch when the conductors yeah, aren't paid that well hierophant says these people have more money than gods so well that, that tracks and i guess they're bored the countess she seems rich the general doesn't seem particularly rich and that that miss emerald i don't know what her deal is so who's are you sure it's everyone that was on the train i mean arbiter christie was on the train he got killed too yeah i want to stick it to these people i feel like I'm, I'm, I'm a goblin i'm all for it let's do it well, I, I still want to figure out who the murderer is but i kind of i more so want to know who's involved in this game and then get them all arrested sure there, there are well, actually there's one option they're yeah. actually killing people and then re and then reincarnating them. But here's the problem: if they're wealthy enough to pull this shit, are they are they so wealthy that they're just going to get out of any sort of arresting that'll happen? What's what's the alternative? Who just, who are just... we, who are we going to call? If if everyone is in on it on this train that's running the train, I mean, who who are we going to 
Mm, we could ask the conductor if he can contact the authorities at the next stop. He's crazy wealthy. How do the conductor's I... crazy wealthy? Wadsworth he has a diamond encrusted watch. Huh. That could have just been a gift. I don't know any conductors that know people who would give them a diamond encrusted watch. Maybe at Whales Cliff we sneak off and just stop long mm. enough for us to just go run to the station and tell someone about it. Maybe I just I, I just worry them and I feel as they got this. You say they do this every year. This is a well-oiled machine. This entire they, they've accounted for people finding them out and and attacking back and escaping. Yeah. I, I imagine all of that is accounted for on, in this plan of theirs. Yeah. I wonder what they would what they would give us if we solved, solved the crime. But my original plan probably mm -hmm. is not going to work because I don't think they're too incentivized to stop someone from spilling Doing beans. More. My, my plan was to just put a target on my back and have the murderer come after me. So well, let's 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 share our information on everything we know about this. And so I assume there's an info dump where you cover everything that you learned. Yeah, I was about um, to ask if you told them that it's the Zekin Collective because you didn't, but I was just going to ask oh. if you did uh, because yeah. that may change his because everyone knows who this cartel is. So, and once you fill in that blank, which yes, I was angling towards. Um, then I start really emphasizing the, the diamonds. So we have the diamond-encrusted watch from Wadsworth. I mean, these are okay. known diamond runners. Uh, the diamond-encrusted stethoscope, so we know Madeline Kahn is in on it. Those two are positive. They are definitely in on it. Uh, Miss Emerald, she I don't recall her having anything diamond-related in the descriptions, nor Mary Quinn. Oh, she's terrible, so very could be. Could be. Herc, he seems very well appointed. I don't know about Herc. He might be on it too. And the general, well, he came with the countess, and I think the countess is in on it, so I think the general's in on it too. So that would leave everyone but us, Arbiter Christie, and Miss Emerald and Mary Quinn. I'm going to say that they're, one of those two is up next. Do we, what room are they in? Do you know what room they're in? No idea. I'm going to go see if I can find out and I start trying. Is anyone out in the hallway? Yeah, there's. <laughs> I poke my head out. <laughs> there's two uh, tired guards, and uh, you see Herc in the corner in a chair sleeping. I just tiptoe out. I wave to the guards subtly, just like, oh, hi. Um, and I start tiptoeing down the hallway just to see if I can identify without, being, without disturbing too much uh, what room. Miss Emerald and Mary Quint are in. Uh, so you're gonna knock, or how are you going to? You're just gonna listen, or? Well, I imagine like Arbiter Christie probably snores really loud, so I can probably. <laughs> so you're gonna listen. Find him. So you're gonna listen. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna listen. Yeah. So <laughs> the 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 room directly next to you, you don't hear anything, uh, unless you want to make a perception check in case you get something real good. I certainly will try. Oh, I lost that proficiency. Uh, 16, 18. Yeah, it's, you don't. Nothing you can hear gives you any sort of clue as to anything. Okay. Uh, the yeah. next room over. I'm just going to use your passive perception. Sure. Um, That's what it's there for. Yep. It's garbage now. Uh, <laughs> and. Um, you don't hear anything in the next room over. The next room over, you do hear snoring uh, and uh, so on and so forth. You also hear snoring uh, with a higher pitch uh, coming from across the hall. And you think that that might be... Um, you think that that may be... Um, Madeline Kahn, but you're not Dr. Madeline, but okay, you're not. Um, sure. I'm gonna go to one of the silent rooms and uh adopt a stance where I'm just kind of wonky and knock on the door. Okay, uh, let's see, one, two. Roll a 
a d6. Three. Three. Okay. Um, here we go. So um, you knock on it, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, you hear some shuffling, and uh, Miss Emerald cracks the door. You see the half-elf, young half-elf, who was very uh, shy and um, not... seemed to be getting scolded a bunch by Mary Quint. Um, and she peeks out and goes, <gasps> kind of gets scared seeing you, uh, but... She did see you get reincarnated, and it clicks in her head mm -hmm. quickly, and she goes, Yes, how can I... Um, Crispy, Crispin, how can I help you? Hello, Thunderworld. And I just side-eye the guards real quick, and then I, like, sway in close, and I just whisper to her, like, Your life may be in danger. <laughs> and sway back. And goes, Let's talk. And she goes, Give me a second. And she closes the door, and uh, 30 seconds later comes out in a, you know, a nightgown shawl thing. Uh, and she says, yeah, um, I think we probably should stay in eyesight of these guards so they don't get any suspicions, but... We'll just go. I'm very glad you agreed to have a nightcap with me, and I just like loop her arm and start walking her to the lounge car. Okay. You, <laughs> you hook onto her arm like that. Yeah. Okay. okay. And I guess she is much taller than me now. And she's waking up and uh, doesn't seem bothered too much that you're a goblin uh, touching her, but uh, you head to the lounge car and sit at the bar or where are you sitting uh just a table okay i just like a little bank at the table. and uh with a I tiny... assume the car is empty because it's the middle of the night yeah there's no one there uh except the clockwork bartender uh and she says i know it's they're trying to kill everyone that's what happens on this stupid train I hate it here. My mom makes me do this. Does everybody know what the deal is but us? This is getting lame. Okay, so you're... I thought... I, I didn't think you were part of it. Um, So it's the other one, your mom. That's why she's such a bitch. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she thought it would be fun to roleplay as... You know, that she was my assistant. And I was like, you know whatever and yeah so she wanted to dress in drab clothing and experience what it's like to be the other side and has been I hate coming on these things but she forces me to do it otherwise she'll she threatens to you know my inheritance and such but hmm. yeah I just but so so do you know the rest of them too do you know the countess and the general and yeah, that's not their names. Those are all just characters they play. Yeah, I figured that out to, to some extent at least, but that's all I know them as. So who are they? Like, their names. My mom's name is Quintess Mar. And you've actually heard of Quintess Mar as the tycoon of a diamond mine in Southern Enver. Uh near moot break and uh yeah you don't know much else about her okay. um and uh she says uh countess clue is um vigna halts h-a-l-z and General Ratchet is Henry Haltz, and they're married. And, uh... Either they're married? She seems so young. And he seems so old. I think there's some Ill illusion magic going on there. They like to Ugh. adopt different looks. Mm, and, I see. Okay. And, um... 
Man, my mom would kill me if she knew I was doing this. Uh, doctor... It's okay. I won't, I won't sell you short. These people are fucking terrible. So far, you've been the only redeemable one of the bunch. Yeah. Thanks. I don't know what to... Anyways. Uh, Dr. Madeline Kahn, uh, her name is Abbas Joy Aspect, and uh, she didn't study at the Circle of the Seated. Uh, she's not a Veronim. Uh, I don't know if you know anything about them, but they usually have parts of their skull missing that they replace with different materials as a mark of what they've mastered. Yeah, I've met a couple. And, uh, wow, you've met a couple. Uh, and she continues, uh, and she's a priestess of, I forget who, and then uh, Arbiter Christy, uh, his real name is Cecil Ebden, which you know to be traditionally known as the leader of the Zekin Collective, uh, his founder, um, and who am I missing? Oh, shit. He wasn't on it. <laughs> yeah, and she goes, yeah, they've all been reincarnated a few times. They don't like to use the diamonds they have that they have tons of to do this because... There's, as my mother says, you can always make more oils, and with enough money, you just can't make diamonds as easily, mm. so. Yes, that is reasonable. They do seem to have a lot of them. Uh, what about Wadsworth? That dude seems shady. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, he didn't change his character, uh, for this, for this year, but he's just Wadsworth, uh, and, um. Yeah. Is he usually a conductor? No, they they rotate roles, and so last yeah. year I think he was going by Professor Plum or some shit. Oh, that's a stupid name. But I agree. But they regretted that one. Probably not why he's not doing it this year. Yeah. And uh, who's a, oh Herc? He seems like an honest enough fella, being the private eye. Is he? He's not who he says he is either. Uh, I don't know if he is. He's not a member of the Zekin Collective that I know of. I haven't seen him at my parents' parties and stuff, but... Well, that's fascinating. You have been just the loveliest. Thank you so much. What's your real name? Can I at least call you that? Uh, yes. My real name is, uh... You can just call me Mara. Well, Mara, it has been a wonderful pleasure. I won't sell you out. Your mom won't, won't have any idea that, that you were involved whatsoever. <sighs> Thank it's going to be real hard don't... not to punch these people in the face, though. Yeah, I just don't recommend doing anything violent towards them because they can they have so many connections and so much money, and even if you killed one of them, I'm sure they would be able to come back from there if you burned the body. And, uh... So you don't know who it is this year, do you? No, I'm just hoping I don't get killed so I don't get... Last time I was... Uh, I killed and then I woke up in this body and... Uh, yeah, I just don't... I'm just getting used to this, so... Uh, I don't know if I'm oh. I'm sabotaging myself or what, but I just go back and forth with... Do I really need my inheritance or do I... Should I just do what's right? I don't know what to do. Probably not, because we're probably going to have to do shit like this your entire life. Just a thought. Just You're going to turn into your mother. Everyone does. Um, also, so the, the shrunken head that I found in a toilet, does that belong to your mother? Have you seen that before? Uh, no. Maybe they... we can rule her out. I didn't see her with that. I don't think she's the killer, uh, unless she's gotten all of a sudden better at this little game, but she's the worst. She was just yelling at <laughs> me the last few days to act better, act, just be a better actor, and she can't act worth a damn. So, uh, no, they have baubles and goo that they buy from the Aspel Arcana. They have connections through there, and... Um, 
yeah, they just get these crazy, powerful baubles that they use for this. And... So in past games, who's you said your mom's terrible at this game. Who's the best? Mm, let's see. Last year, I think it was Vigna who won. And I think Abbas Joy has won the most, but I'm not sure. Interesting. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep. I didn't mean to disturb your rest too much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, another yeah, thing. Um, so yes. Uh, Priestess, or Abbas Joy, she... Uh, I've seen her killed a few times over the last few years, but she always comes back as a tiefling. I don't know what that means, but it, no one else... I don't hmm. know how what the chances of that are, because I don't know anything about reincarnation, but... Uh, well, you said she's a priestess. Maybe her god has something to do with it. Maybe, I don't know. Well, that's an interesting note. Thank you. I don't think it's a good god, by the way. Well, there's are terrible people, so that tracks. She goes, yeah, I, sometimes I wish I was born in the in the broken belt swamps. Even that would be better than some of the shit I've had to do. Maybe set your stars a little higher than that. Just shoot for a normal life. Maybe it would be good. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go yes, please. back to bed. All right. She leaves. I just... She leaves and I immediately message Proudy and said, I'm on my way back. <laughs> Boy, do I have some stuff for you. And I get back to the room and I tell him about everybody. <laughs> and uh, these are all the people. Yeah. What do you say, Proudy? Arbiter. Can you believe it? Arbiter, not only is he in on this, but he's apparently, he is Cecil Ebden. I was ready to trust that guy. I was never really that trusting of the Arbiter, but I wasn't. I didn't have a strong opinion about him either way. I really, really want to give these people their comeuppance, you know? So do I, I have an idea. Let me shoot this idea at you. Sure. What if I, I got one, but it's I, terrible. What if I turn Hierophant into like a cockroach or something and keep him for a while and just see what they do? You think that hmm. that may be breaking the law if you're in a city, but you're not sure. Depends. You know, I think it... you know it will break the law if you're not. Um, it'll it would break the law in Anista if you're not sanctioned to do that. Like if you were sanctioned to on one of your missions that you've done. Yeah. Uh, you could do it then, but like you know that in oh shit in Anista it's illegal. You don't know if it'll be illegal if you're in a city. So, just FYI. Can I do some sort of uh, arcana check or something? Uh, you could do... Could there's do really no way you would know the legal the legal laws of Whale Cliff uh, if you're... Because that's the closest city you're coming into. And yeah. presumably you would think that uh, by the time you ever did that, you would probably be in the city of Whale Cliff. A good chance you would be. So your, your internal draw to the rod of law is making you not want to do that um how about a can i do a like citizen's arrest you could try can i do a can i do like a wisdom check or an intelligence check on if that is if that is a thing uh, yeah that's a anywhere? thing you don't need to do that um that okay. that's a thing uh, but as Crispy has said, these people—you were told they're richer than uh, you're richer than God. They're richer than gods, mm -hmm. and you don't know how much that would stick. But it does sound like it. Do, it does fulfill your your need to be lawful. What do you think about this, Crispy? We hire a lawyer and sue these people. <laughs> They they can hire a lot more solicitors than we can. I'm pretty sure I don't have that much money. <laughs> I had another thought. Um, have I gotten a glimpse of the front of the train, the engine, at all? Um. Yeah. You. Guys I know are... I didn't walk out with them specifically. 
to, you guys to have, walk have seen the sides of it and stuff, and it looks similarly <clears throat> appointed on the outside as the rest of the train, other than being more metal than semi-transparent. And when I was under the train last time, looking up ahead of to the, the car in front, because the, the cargo car is the second car, right? So, like, the engine would be the first. Um, did, the, the, did the engine look like that the underside of the engine look open like a car would be or was it all uh, more no like there's paint? there's um there's a section of the engine that connects that gets closer to the rails and mm -hmm. you don't you don't know how the arcane train works you just know it has something to do with the crystals uh that felix right. makes and so it's a it's very how do i put this it's just very busy underneath there, and there's a series of tracks, almost like inverted tracks that reach towards the tracks uh, underneath. Because um, there's three tracks, two for the for where it touches down, and then once the okay. train starts going, it almost levitates. Gotcha. Okay. Well, because I was just thinking, I, I also want them to either come up, and so I don't know exactly how to do it. They had a head that killed me. I don't think, like, punching them in the face like I want to do is a good idea. But maybe if I jam my immovable rod in the engine, it'll derail the train, and we could crash this whole motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'd get up there, though. It's it's a terrible idea. That I would just, be awesome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think that's probably the... Most it's risky. Law, law breaking we, of all we the might also, I'm, I'm not committed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a goblin now. I'm I'm basically built to do bad things. Yeah, um, goblins in your part of the woods, <laughs> crispy, were traditional goblins. Shitty. shitty. Uh, <laughs> we're shitty. Um, in your part of the woods, proddy. It was that the, they weren't known as shitty. They were trying to survive in the roast territories. And they were frequently targeted by, and and enslaved by roast barbarians. Uh, so it was pretty much everyone against the barbarian tribes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you've you've dealt with a few goblins, and they didn't seem too shitty from your end. But mm -hmm. well, crispy, I'm not gonna. All right, so if we're not doing that, uh, I will what turn else a blind eye. For them? No, I, I'm I'm telling you to go for crashing the train. I won't be. Okay. I, can't, I can't be part of it, but uh, I, I I'm I'm all for it as well. I just <laughs> I don't know how to get from point A to point B in this plan. That's the problem. <laughs> um, so I mean, if we only have let's see, I got my bag of oh man, gosh. <sighs> You only have two bags of holding. That would work pretty well to, to blow up the train. But I don't want to lose both of them. That would just suck. Um, hmm. You don't have a bomb, do you, Prady? I don't, but I've got some spells that are pretty powerful. Could do, a little, do a little... I mean, I, I can't actually do it myself, though. Oh, that's right. You can't just, like, cause an earthquake right ahead of the train. Oops. <laughs> um, hmm. I think uh, that's I don't know, what would that be, manslaughter? <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen <laughs> Hmm, okay, so we don't have any bombs, we don't have any poison we don't have any, how are we supposed to do? we're just pawns I'm stumped unless we want to go room to room and start just slitting their throats I mean I mean, go room to room and give them butterfly kisses while they sleep. Yeah, it's illegal. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. The shitty part of the rod of law bears its ugly head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously. I'm not able to do anything. Um, I don't know. Come back to just hiring a lawyer. <laughs> Let's see. We, uh... Can we get... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna Baba Yaga to curse them once we meet Is there a Erin Brokovich <laughs> we can hire? Uh, you know the little the the, the lawyer. 
the, the lawyer that takes on the big uh, corporations. Or you could do uh, nothing, Ashwin says, as she wakes up. I'm just going to say it's morning and she's gotten her long rest. We could do nothing, but we're not on this train for another, what, few days? Maybe a day? I don't know. We could always get off in so, Whale Cliff and just hoof it. Ugh, this train's so much faster, but I don't want to be here anymore. These people suck. Well, maybe our attitude needs an adjustment. Maybe we should just try to make as much money as possible. Maybe if we solve the solve the mystery, there'll be some sort of prize. Or we could just answer. we could just talk to them and tell them how upset we are and tell them that we're disappointed in them and that we're mad and that <laughs> and that uh, we know what's going on here and that they're mean rich people and that we 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 will tell them how, other people how mean they are and how gross and nasty um i'm I'm gonna go ahead and say no we're not gonna do that plan that's not gonna get us anywhere what if they want to be what if they want us to keep quiet and they say here's something here's here's a because those are the kind of people that can just kill us instead and that's probably less uh they couldn't kill me a toilet killed me ashwin a, to a toilet killed me well i'm just gonna be more careful around toilets and but they couldn't kill me i'm the best fighter they've ever seen i'm not i'm not debating the second half of that statement but i am debating the first half of that statement because i would have said the same thing was it the toilet or was it the toilet that actually killed you how did it kill you there was a head in the toilet and what you just saw a head and that was it and the mouth moved, and then... done. Prodi, is there some spell that... does that? Oh, just, do you want me to just repeat what, uh... what uh, Hierophant told me? Well, you already told... Uh, you, you're gonna repeat it to her, and... Um, but I want you to make an Arcana check, because Hierophant didn't say, like, what spell... Oh, which spell, exactly? Well, he said it... I mean, I know it involves deception... No, no. yeah, the, 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 the bobble was 10 total. Yeah. Uh, the bobble was, was, um, had a non-detection spell cast on it. And the bobble itself, yeah. as you know, that all these mundane items that have magical properties, the item itself. It's super expensive. Yeah, they're super expensive artifacts. Some of them, the higher the spell level in it, the, uh, more expensive they are. Um. Yeah, so that you wouldn't know for with a ten. Um, she she just says, "Okay, well, I think I'm still gonna like tell them that I'm mad. Tell them when we get off the train to leave. In Revan's Probably run, do it beforehand. If if that's where we decide to leave, yeah, that's where you should let them have it. Um, before then, you'll probably just be killed. By the way, are we going to take pay for a teleportation circle?" down to Anista from Revan's Run? Or are we going to walk? We haven't decided. We're just going to get to Revan's Run and figure out see how much it costs. Okay. Okay. I don't know if we can afford it, frankly, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, because... I don't know. I've, I've never been to Revan's Run. I don't know what it's like there. Is that a big city? It's pretty big. It's not as big as Anista, but it's still pretty big. It's like a... There's a river running through the city, and the city goes underground, and part of the river's underground, and there's, like, a college. Hmm. There's a college that's made, that was made uh, in a repurposed lock system. It's a bridge and a lock system where boats would be transferred down or something. I'm not sure how it works, but they don't use it for that anymore, so now there's, like, a magic college inside this bridge lock thing hmm. interesting yeah it sounds like a new town um yeah so i mean do you know how much teleportation costs no Have done that for felix there? Stricknips paid for our teleportation circle hmm. uh from anista to revan's run and then we caught the train to serenity springs right outside the viranal dominion so uh that's gotcha. well 
We could definitely afford it if we can get in that second train car. I can tell you that much. I just don't know how to do it. But Prady All the can't, trains move on. Prady can't steal. Uh, and I'm okay. not sure I want to steal either. Even though these people are horrible, we can't be as bad as them. Uh, well, we're not murdering people. So even if I steal their stuff, I'm still going to say I'm not as bad as them. And they didn't own that stuff anyway. They're terrible. Maybe, maybe my original plan <clears throat> can still work. I'm going to just say that I know who the murderer is. Make myself a target. Hopefully one of them attacks me. I mean, I know they, that's not how they're doing this, but... Maybe if they feel like I'm going to ruin their game or something, I can draw one of them to do something to me. And I think that once, if they're attacking me or threatening me in any way, I'll turn them into a cockroach or do something to them just as self-defense. Well, I just don't know. I don't know how you do it. I mean, I don't. I don't think they're going to show their hand that freely. We can give it a shot. I just really want to turn someone into a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. No, nope, well, that won't work. I get the brain of a cockroach too. Yeah. If you can make me really tiny, maybe I can scar up to the car. But I, won't, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna lose track of my goals. Um. Yeah, I might just mm -hmm. just go along with them and just silent protest until the end of the train chain ride. Yeah, we'll go for now. Uh, we shouldn't. Don't go off alone, the three of us. So, cut to breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. Ring a ding ding, the breakfast bell. That doesn't, there's mm -hmm. no, it's more like breakfast is served. Everyone join us in the dining car. And, uh, yeah, you guys are all at the table, I presume. I'm sitting with my arms crossed, very grumpy. <laughs> and uh, everyone is eating and the same bullshit small talk, and they serve you uh, oats with uh, desiccated uh, hooves of centaur. So uh, you got that for breakfast. Wow. And... Um, yeah, do you, what would you like to do? Um, nobody's really saying much to the people who've been reincarnated. Well, yeah, I thought, I thought uh, someone at breakfast would raise some hubbub about me saying I was going to spill the beans about the murder, but looks like that's not going to happen. Well, they haven't yet, but um, if you want to wait, you can to see if it'll happen. Yeah, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. Anything you want to do, Crispy? Yeah, can I wreck on just a tiny bit before I went to breakfast? What? Um, I would like to use my disguise kit. Okay. To make myself look like a look like crispy, look like normal crispy, just small. That's awesome. Uh, sure. Yeah. Are you proficient? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Make a. What's the role there? Um... I have no idea. I've heard many things. <laughs> we'll say a. Wisdom? Heard I, that a lot. I feel, I don't know. I feel like intelligence. No, or Could deception. No. Fuck. I th maybe it would be, I don't think it would be wisdom. I think it would be intelligence. Sure. Let's say a uh, nat 20 with proficiency gives me a 26. Sure. Sure. Um... I look awesome. You look awesome, and you still look like a goblin, but you look... If you were in a crowd and 30 feet, 50 feet away, people wouldn't see you're a goblin uh, just based on your disguise. Getting up close to you, you're a fucking goblin. Uh, but still got jack teeth. Jack teeth, <laughs> big ears, wider head than you used to have. Um misproportioned limbs and fingers and such uh misproportioned compared to what you were uh yeah so but I, but I have the ears pulled back under my hat and 
Right. Sure. Upon, they have my clothes on again, but they're way too big. It does. Yeah. I mean, they know <laughs> yeah, it's no, you, I, I but get you. yeah. Sure. It's sure. it's not like, oh my god, crispy, you're back. What happened? Uh, yeah. So you are back in the dining car. So like that. And um, I'm looking at their initial reactions, just to see if anyone is like particularly surprised. Yeah. When they see a a not goblin for a moment. Um, Arbiter, before putting the pieces together. Arbiter Christie definitely is impressed by how you look and um miss emerald says you are very talented i guess i guess you still have all your same skills then and she's kind of talking to you under your breath even even though um everyone knows what's going on they just don't know you no Sort of. My eyes seem a little different more than anything. They're a lot bigger now. See? <laughs> Can you see big, better? Big old green. A little bit. Last night was interesting. I mean, the train's all lit up, but everything looks a bit... I don't know. Shadows aren't as dark. It's different. Cool. Yeah. My I... fingers don't work quite as well most of the time. I haven't gotten used to these yet. Yeah. I'm glad I went from human to half-elf instead of something as drastic. Uh, oh, this is this is different. This takes some getting used to. My feet still can't touch the floor at the normal table. <laughs> Just yep. dangling. And um, yes, towards the end of the uh, dinner, Conductor Wadsworth says behind you, kind of under his breath, but not too much to you, Prady. He says. Do you have anything you'd like to say? I do, as a matter of fact. And everyone stops and puts down their silverware and looks, pays attention. Prati stands up on top of his chair. <laughs> and he says, It's come to my attention that there is a game... A game of murder (gasps) that has been played over the last few days since we boarded the train. Day or something. And not everyone on the train has volunteered to participate in this game. Myself included. My companions included. (gasps) I know exactly who the murderer is. I was going to say who the murderer is right now at breakfast, but I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. I want to know the rules of the game. Is there a prize? How long have you been playing? Is there just one murderer? Is it always just one? Are there sometimes two murderers? I happen to know this time it's just one and I will tell you exactly who that is at dinner time. Thank you. And tell us the rules. Let people volunteer for the game. That's what I stand for. Enjoy your oats. And there's just quiet. (laughs) And conductor... Uh, Wadsworth says well that's interesting I don't know what you're talking about and uh, Dr. Uh, Madeline Kahn starts to speak and General Ratchet kind of interrupts and says all right why don't we just what I've been saying for years that we need to stop picking up randos from the (laughs) train stations because inevitably they interrupt the game and and uh uh, conductor wadsworth says general please and uh general just oh come on wadsworth let's just this is let's just Stop doing this. This is further proof as to what I've been saying. Let's just drop them off and forget about it. 
let's just be done with it. And by the way, uh, you picked the pocket crispy of um, Countess Clue, and she rolled ru rolled poorly. Maybe she's too into her character at the moment. Uh, too distracted you... by Prati's accusations. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, you find some, some uh, like a vial of something, and uh, at right now you don't know what it is. You also find a uh, a makeup kit and a business card uh, that you haven't looked at yet. So perfect, awesome, thank you. And um, General Ratchet says that and Mary Quint the drow says <sighs> Henry what did we say about breaking character so here and she turns to you and the three of you and says I don't know who told you, and she looks at her daughter, who's not looking at her, just kind of not trying not to make eye contact, kind of like when the teacher is, you know, calling for someone to do a math problem on the board. Uh, and she says, but... Well, so you... who told us? Read someone, do you think someone told us? You have a doctor with a diamond stethoscope. That doesn't make any sense. Also, she doesn't have any weird things. She clearly didn't study at the seated circle, so that's weird. Yeah, this dude who's supposed to be a paladin. Dude, your, mag your armor's not magic. Really? I'm supposed to buy you a paladin without magic armor? Your guy didn't give you ma Whatever. Already. Weird. All of you are terrible at this game. Just terrible. <laughs> so I'm a goblin now. Come on, people. And Ugh. Countess Clue is starts. Oh, he's a goblin, and he's making accusations, and just doing the stupid Ooh, little. Bitch. <laughs> and then, Ooh, bitch. Mm. And she's like, oh, and Mar she's the only one laughing. Um, and Mary Quint is says, "This is the first that." You've found out it was a game, so someone surely should have... Uh, we've never experienced that, but usually what we do if people don't do it themselves is we just drop them off at the next town or city or whatnot, and we can give you some... A Compensation, yeah, I'm a fucking goblin. A goblin's not that bad. Just don't go to any of the... Oh, just don't go places. Cool. Love it. <laughs> Great. And she's like... She's, You've sold me on it. She is dead serious, and she's not like being... She's not offended by your sarcasm at all, but she's just like... She takes herself so seriously that she's like... <laughs> Thinks it's a good idea that what she's yeah. she's actually giving you good advice. <laughs> she, yeah, she's she's buying into her own advice. And um, she says, usually we just give someone a hundred gold, and uh, that should be enough. It's not. And um, General <laughs> Ratchet says, for Christ's sake, Quintus. Let's stop negotiating. There's really no point. I appreciate the effort, but for God's sake, it's just... How about this? We will give you 500 gold worth of diamonds. Each. Uh, that will not be happening. You were the only <laughs> one who was, uh, reincarnated. So, uh, that is the offer. I'm gonna remember your face. This one. This one that you have on now. Well, if well, I... No, it's not you. 
If I don't find out who who the uh, culprit of this year's events are, uh, you might be disappointed to find I will have a different face. I might still have a different <laughs> face anyway. Everyone knows it was Wadsworth. Yeah, sure, just give us the diamonds. <laughs> and when you say everyone knows it's Wadsworth, people like actually like like a <gasps> and Wadsworth goes. Oh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> no, run, 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 run. I just, I just mock him. I'm just like fully just over this. And when you do, <laughs> when you do that, Countess Clue just goes, "Oh, it's a goblin mocking people! How hilarious!" I make sure to walk past um, Wadsworth when he looks at like when he's obsessively looking at his watch, and I just look at the watch and I go, a diamond watch, Wadsworth, come on! And just swat, swat it out of his hand. And it's connected <laughs> It's connected to his vest, like, a uh, conductor, so it just goes, whoop! <laughs> and just flick it out of his hand. Like, he come just, on, man! He, goes, oh, he just puts it I'm back. going to the bar. <laughs> and, um, as you're leaving a, uh, are all of, are you going to, Prati? Are disembarking? You, you don't have. Going... I mean, you're going to the bar. Yet. You're not disembarking just, yet. Yeah. No, I'm just going to the bar. And I'm just leaving. Good. I'm leaving the breakfast table <laughs> in a huff. And I'm going to the bar. Oh. And I just as as Prady's leaving, I just go hilarious. Like perfectly, <laughs> yeah. Because you're a Ken kid. Awesome. And uh, as you're leaving, you get hit in the back of the head with a nat twenty with a bag of some sort of. It's diamonds, basically. Diamonds. <laughs> and uh, Mary Quint says, Well, you are the luckiest crew we have had on our voyage in the last few years to get that much. But we expect you'll be disembarking in Whale Cliff, is that right? Do you guys yes. say anything? Okay. I mean, I'd like to, I'd like to I'm, take... I'm, I'm out. I'd like to take... The... <laughs> You're out. Okay, I'm with you then, Crispy. Okay. I was gonna just stay. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm out of the car. I'm at the car. Yeah. So I figured, uh, I figured you, Prady, were behind him. Uh, kind of. I mean, I'd like to, I'd like to just see the the train ride through and get straight to where we're going. You, do you want to say that, or do you just want to pretend like you're gonna do that? Just plan like it. Is Ashen with me? Yeah, Ashwin is following you guys. Yeah, okay, Ashwin, I, I was thinking to just, I mean, now the gig, the jig is up. Like, let's just, let's just stay on the train and not have to hoof it all the way to Anista. You're gonna have to hoof it unless you, because the train only goes to Revan's Run. Just FYI. Uh, okay. I want to get all the way to Revan's to Run. Yeah. Okay. Well, you might have to stay in your cabin the whole time, but. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, you go to the bar and uh, get drunk. You've got 500 gold worth of diamond. Zzz. Way to go, Crispy. Way to extort them for extort. I'll, go ahead. I'll throw them on, on my character sheet just so we have them somewhere. Nashwin goes, oh, What are we going to do with those? Can those, like... Can those bring us back to life if we die? I don't, I don't I don't know of a spell that does that. Me neither. I know they use them. I, I mean, you, you know there's that. spells Herofend that Ack do that. Was, right, Herofend Ack was talking about it that the door on the their diamonds, so I'm guessing, yeah. Oh, right. They don't want to use their diamonds. Got it. That's why they use the oil. Or it's just money. It's always that. Okay. Were you guys going to go sleep? You look terrible. Yeah, maybe we should <laughs> hang out on this train for a little bit longer and just sleep in our room. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so doing a little fast forwarding. You arrive in Whale Cliff, and the stop is not more than 10 minutes. But Whale Cliff is in, it's built into the side of some cliffs overlooking the Northern Sea. And it is a military, maybe not now, but at one point it was a military fortress overlooking the Northern Sea to protect from what you don't know. The 
cliffs are hundreds of feet tall, and likewise the the towers that are attached are also hundreds of feet tall. Uh, I'm just checking uh, Discord real quick. Um, but other than that, out your window you can't see much else, and you take off south now towards Revan's Run, and they say that that should be... Uh, conductor says that that is... You should be there tonight. And you get there, and now you are in the city of Revan's Run, which... Uh, so that was long enough for us to long rest? Sure, yeah. Okay. Uh, and it's nighttime, and the train pulls in. It's the end of the line, although you do see some construction beginning on another tra set of tracks going south. Uh, Revan's Run has the Nivermorn River running through it, and it's v moving very quick. Uh yeah, and uh, one of the prominent features of the city is this giant structure that uh, not only... It's a multi-layered city, and the river goes through it and then cuts downwards, and this bridge uh, kind of goes at an angle. So, yeah, that's the one of the main features of the city. It's, it's a bridge, but it's also... What Ashwin was saying is it's also a set of locks where ships can go in. Um, other than that, uh, you are off the train, and as you're leaving, uh, you see Miss Emerald looking out of the window, kind of forlorn, like she wishes partially she could go with you, but... Um, yeah. And I give her a, a sign-off. She waves. And uh, anything else you'd like to do before what would you like to do it's late at night so you can either find an inn or yeah i would say find an inn okay yeah, sounds good in the time so you find a tavern called the lady in the chain and it's not very busy it's just it's the closest tavern to the train station there. Uh, and the train station's not like our train stations because this is a rather new invention. So, uh, yeah, as you approach the bar, you see a uh, short human woman and um, she's lighting candles on the bar and she says, Oh, hello. Sorry, I'm just waking up for my night shift. Uh, I wait outside, and I send them inside. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you see Got a few them. people looking at you, but... Uh... I, 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 my hat pulled down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so it's Ashwin and Prady inside. She says that to you, Prady and Ashwin. Well, Ashwin's not here, but... Uh, she says, how can I help you? Would you like a room? Yeah, just just want to sleep. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, we have plenty of openings, and that will be pulling up a t table. Oh, I also have my DM screen, my actual DM screen. There we go. It's going to be five silver pieces, so mark okay. that off. And you have your room. It's a pretty modest room, but there's a bed and what not. You guys can hunker down f until morning, or what would you like to do? Hunker down. Well, How are you getting? Um... Is crispy crispy? Are you being secretive about being goblin still, or? Yeah. So. Um... I would have told them, like, hang out the window once you're in the room <laughs> so I know which one it is. Okay. And then I'm going to try to to vault my way up in. Okay. Climb, vault, something sure. secretly. <laughs> Make a athletics check, Prody. What do you put out the window? I just put thumbs up. You just stick your bird hand out? Okay. Mm-hmm. 
No, that's not bad. That is a 19 minus 118. Yep. You make it up, and as you're entering, Ashwin says, Why are you... How do you even know these people will hate you because you're a goblin? Goblins fucking suck. <laughs> Enough said. I mean, I'm, some I'm of them do, solo. but not all of them. I've... <laughs> You've met goblins that weren't just, you know, shitty? Yeah. In the Nivermorn oh. Forest, where my, my... You're just, like, chill with goblins? Because where I'm from, they're, they're shitty. Like, universally. Like, they're just awful. They're not that shitty where I'm from, in the north. Yeah. Oh, maybe just where I live is shitty. Um, well, I'm not there anymore. I just assumed people wouldn't take kindly to it, so I thought I'd keep a low profile. Okay. Well. Yeah. I. Well, I, I mean, look at me. I'm not. I'm not cute like you. I'm small, but I'm, I got his teeth, his big eyes. We'll handle anyone who gives you crap about being a goblin. That's what I don't know. Thanks, Lashman. Prodi's remaking the bed. Yeah, it was a little wrinkled. And there's a... A, uh... A spilled basket of nuts. Like, there's remnants of broken peanut shells and whatever shells that have... It's like a wicker basket. And so some of the broken shell pieces... As much, like they sweep it away, but if the basket gets moved a little bit, more shell pieces get spread out, and so yeah, you have to take care of that as well. Um, oh, I told her, give us a room that's close to the bar, or your best room, and she gave me a room that's close to the bar with freaking spill in it. Oh, god! As I clean up. He seems to be being more fastidious than he usually is, Crispy. Uh, you met him, and he was pretty fastidious with stuff, but now he's mm-hmm. he's definitely paying more attention to it. You see a difference since uh, a few days ago when he retrieved the third part of the Rod of Law. Um, mm-hmm. So what, you just want to skip to morning time? We can do that? Yeah, there's nothing at night yep. I need to do. So you guys while away the hours talking about birds. And since you had your long rest recently, Ashwin is trying to uh, stay awake, but she doesn't. Um, And in the morning time, yeah, you go downstairs, have breakfast. It was included. It's pretty basic. Not like the fancy stuff you were having on the train. And now the city is yours to do with what you will. What would you like to do? Uh, when you get a chance, can you throw us the map again? I tried scrolling back to find it. I'm just trying to figure out how Check in the far... pinned messages. Pinned messages. Pinned, I didn't do that. Pinned reference material. What are you trying to check for? Pinned reference. Oh, right. Okay. That just is where it'd be. I didn't look in that room. Yeah, I just want to see where, how far we're at, we have to travel here. So this is Revan's Run, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, no. I don't know where. Is Revan's Run actually written on that map? No, there's just a city icon that I thought I knew was Revan's Run, but I yeah, could be wrong. Yeah, north of Innis, the next big city icon directly north. Where By those, those windmills? windmills? Yeah, that's Revan's Run. Okay. Oh, okay. Perfect. And, and you guys feel right. free to mark, print out and mark up that map to keep track of it, your own version. It's up to you. Yeah, I was going to. I just couldn't find it when I was going to because I was looking in the wrong place. Uh, <laughs> all right, I just wanted an idea. Well, I figure we, we don't have any business in Revan's Run, right? I mean, I think Ashton Ash didn't want to stop by home. That's, Top that's, the that's pretty far. Yeah, it's this is oh, the yeah? closest okay. to big city to her home, but it's still pretty far. It's but in still. the big forest to the east. You're about 350, 400 miles north of Innis, and yeah, it will take you. <laughs> Traveling. <laughs> Seinfeld.
almost a month. You already did the math? Um, it's just very basic math in Ooh. my head. I, I, I ballparked it. What ballpark are we in? About a month. Let's see. I don't, I don't know actual bar ballparks. So about a little over half a month. Okay. And if we have mounts, yeah. Wait a minute. No, it would be half a month on foot. 24 miles a day, 20. normal pace. Oh, 24 miles. I had the wrong. I was doing 20 miles. That would make a difference. Okay. Well, and... good. Yeah, half a month. Works for me. Or you can hire something that will travel quicker. Or you can go to the college, the Gateway Bridge College, and pay for their teleportation circle. But, um, you guys don't have any like faction connections that maybe could help you out, so those are kind of your options. Uh, one thing I would like to do... Um, uh, overnight, since we had our long rest, I would like to meditate with the shard of the adamantine citadel. Okay. Um, is it something where I can reach out to them? You can try. Or am I just, or am I just waiting for that? Yeah, this is what I'm trying to find out. Or am I just waiting for them to contact me through this thing? You were told that they feel like it. you were told that they would contact you, and they didn't say if you could contact them. But so I'm gonna try. Okay. You meditate and. Make a wisdom check. Just a check? Yeah. Oh, that was bad. Uh, 12. 12. Yeah, you're still bothered by your current corporeal situation, and uh, maybe you're just... I don't know. You touch it, and it's vibrating and humming in some... Not only literally, but also in some other level and when you touch it there just seems to be you're not able to it's very similar to what you experienced when you first meditated with okay yeah so i just hunger down with the book of zermith and mithrin for the rest of the night and see if i can i just read that book and it's um, it's more of uh what i told you it was the last yeah. time which is just platitudes and uh Things that most people shrug off most of the time unless they've had some direct personal experience that has convinced them that of the validity of the platitude. I'm just continuing to read it. Okay, excellent. See if I can get some insight into these people in the long run. Okay. Um, let me make a note. This is last night, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I guess we did say we fast forward to the morning. My bad. Okay. I'd like to. Prati sees uh, Crispy reading his book and it gives him an idea about trying to get another. Uh, ritual for his book book of ancient secrets so i want to go seek out a shaman or in the morning some... yeah yeah fast forward to the morning uh, back to the morning now there is a uh baba yaga's magical emporium chain in oh, Raven's everything's run. a chain here in raven's run god you can't find no, other right <laughs> you can find other magic shops. I'm just, I'm just joking. Yeah, I know, but I'm just giving you the yeah, yeah. option. Let me pull up. So, I'm fine going to the Baba Yaga's. To the uh, Baba? You're fine yeah, B, going to the Baba. The BY? Oh, Big BY. That, that reminds me. Now that we're off the train, I pulled these out of the Countess's pocket. Do you know what this is? Hmm. Hold up the vial. Do I know what the vial is? Uh, do you un uncork it? Uh, can I not? It's not transparent. I can't see what it is. No, it's a black bottle. Okay, yeah. It I could be transparent. It. Maybe it's just full of black 
completely Maybe opaque. It's full of black ferro fluid. Um, yeah, no, I uncork it. When you I do, a whiff. when you do, make it. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> it smells. It should happen. It smells of lavender and cherries. You think it? Smells, it, it smells like perfume. Lovely. It does smell like perfume. Uh, very strong per- perfume of the kind that she was wearing. And then you have that makeup. Yep, on a business card. What does the business card say? It just has one name in block letters, almost runic le- letters, but it's still in common. It says Clancy C S I E. Or Psy, I guess you could say. So well, that's all that's on it? Yep, just those two, two words. Okay. Well, do you guys know who Clancy is? No? I don't. So. Do you know? No. Nope. I don't hold on to this, but I'm going to put some of this on. This might make people like me. I dab a little lavender. <laughs> and now I smell beautiful. You do. If I look, uh, if maybe I look a little strong, way. but yeah, you smell fresh. Of lavender. Fresh. And whatnot. So uh, let me, what was, that was what I was doing. Real quick, uh, what I'm, come on, where'd you go? I don't know if you should have stolen that, but yeah, good, good haul. That's great. Oh yeah, I did this while you were talking. It was the perfect, perfect opportunity. Good job on that speech. It was flawless. Everyone was watching you. She didn't have a clue. It was awesome. Yes, speech didn't land as much as I wanted it to. (laughs) Felt uh, they didn't feel remorseful at all. No, that doesn't surprise me. They don't seem like the remorseful type. It's like there's other ways to have fun, you know? It's like you don't have to suck innocent citizens into a sick game where, you know, what if something went wrong with Hierophant and he wasn't available? Then you'd just be dead. Yeah, they would not care. They wouldn't care. They wouldn't give well, a shit. Surely this conversation has come up between them before. They were they were acting like this was a dis- discussion they've had. Okay, so I'm going to have to get back to you on the cost of the the you can either buy a spell scroll or you can uh they have a some books you can copy down spells into your book from that wizards can peruse. Uh, But is there anything else you would like to get there besides looking for certain spells? I want to buy a healing potion. Healing potion, okay. Just a regular one? Yeah, Uh, maybe. I want to see, I want to try and angle them down if I get two. But like, I'm, I'm, I only recently became a goblin. I'm very worried about my health. Is there anybody you can give me a break if I buy two? There's this relatively young looking human, uh, and she is looking at you when you say, I only recently became a goblin. That confuses her. She's like, You only recently became a goblin. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you heard me right. I used to be much taller, better looking. My hat fit. So it's too big. It's too big now. Were you true polymorphed dead. or? I, I, I was dead for just a moment. So someone reincarnated you and you want this. I don't know how this stuff works. And you want this healing potion. I, security blanket. So it's 50 gold. No. So maybe give you like 90 for two. Sure. You know what? I, I... Well, a shitty day. Just just shitty. I don't know whether like, I believe you. A shitty day. <laughs> I don't know. I just like the story regardless of whether it's true or not. It's unique. And uh, <laughs> I was not looking forward to my day today. And was just 
in a shitty mood and this made it a slightly better so 90 gold for two potions of healing oh give me one second and i and i take out out of my bag i take out a little booklet with you know empty paper and i take out my painter supplies and i start just doing a little scribble painting of what i looked like before and i just like hey, here's a self portrait from two days ago it was me you can have that and he's dead i was so much better looking well maybe not to a I'm goblin not dead. it was what happened to me when i wasn't the goblin I look funny. I'm getting used to it. Thank you for the deal, though. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Prati, you're in there as well. Is there anything you want other than the spells? Um, No. Yeah, I just wanted to, to add a couple spells to Book okay. of Ancient Secret. Uh, presuming that you do get a spell you want, uh, while you're copying it down into your book, uh, you get... A message from a f familiar voice that says, Oh, hi, Prati. This is Sarah. <laughs> Are you coming? Are you on your way? I know, like, it takes uh, a while, but uh, we're just... Bob. The Baba just wants to hire someone for this, and she's quite impatient. Can I, res can I respond to him? I forget. Yeah, you can after she's done. Like, this is like... It's kind of like a voicemail message, so you can respond after, but it would be pointless for you to start responding. Uh, and she goes, the Baba's kind of impatient, even though she's, you know, who knows how old. Um, anyways, well, I hope you hurry, and um, okay, let me know. That's it. Um. Yeah, I respond and I just say, uh, "Yeah, we're in Raven's Run right now. Supplies will sh we should be in a Anista in what a week? How far are we out? It depends. You're 350, 400 miles away, so it's either going to be a half a month if you're walking, or less all the way up to instant if you take a teleportation okay. circle. Yeah, I'm just going to tell them eh, we're anywhere from a week to half a month out. Week, week or two, we'll be there." We're on our way, though. Okay. And that message is sent, and that's where we're going to leave it. Uh... You hear that noise? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you, hear, you hear the email sent noise. Thank you so much for joining us, episode 34 of Venture Ventures. If you're listening on the podcast or whatnot, or watching in the far if future. On the podcast. If you're listening on the podcast, <laughs> go ahead and click that like, subscribe button, and leave a comment. Rate us on blah, 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 blah. Coming up next is Casey Kasem's top 50 pop, pop songs from 1972. Uh, but thank oh, you. I can't wait. For watching or listening or whatever you're doing. Let's go around the massive table of players we have here. Next week, I am told, table. Lex will be back. So look forward yeah. to me not playing Ashwin. Dave, anything to plug? Anything? Um, D-Rod3 on the socials. And, uh, yeah, next week I will be playing from Tejas. So I would like to plug Barbecue Brisket. Barbecue Brisket? Okay. Brian? It's reasonable. It's reasonable. Uh, hi, I'm Brian. I have nothing to plug. I'm just sitting at home playing D and D. Excellent. I'm Jake Friday. You like can find me on Twitter at Jake Friday on Instagram at Jake of the Friday. Follow Venture Ventures at on Twitter at Venture Ventures on Instagram at Venture Ventures. Join us next week for episode 35. Find out what happens as they get into the independent city of Anista and possibly talk to Max Morningbrow again, and the Baba, and Sarah possibly, or none of it at all. Just find out next week, Sunday at 4 p.m. Other than that, you have a great week. Be excellent I'm to yourself go north. and others. Oh, or they're going to go north. North, the other way. Still Just be cause... excellent to yourself and others. We'll see you later.